Matthew Morris, MM Wood Studio. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, which means it's time for another weekly shop update. Okay, well, it's March 30th for only about 15 more minutes, so I better get this thing filmed today. So let's check out what's been going on. So the tabletop pretty much looks the same. However, four final pieces are done, which allows me to move on. And that is all of the cloud lift ebony splines that connect the breadboard ends visually to the tabletop are installed. Let me walk you through that. So the first thing I did was I milled up some ebony. Then over the table saw, I had my fence set and I took a test piece and tested that against the actual mortises and I was a little bit too thick, which is what I wanted. And then I cut my ebony at that thickness. And then I used a square and I marked out my ebony and cut it into four different parts to get me the four different ebony splines I wanted to make. I then fit each ebony spline to the corresponding mortise they were going to go into with a plane over at the bench, slowly bringing them down to a really nice fit into the mortises. Once I had those planed down, the next thing to do was to figure out roughly where the beginning and ending of each spline was going to go. And I used a test piece here to help me set up my jig so I know where I'd want to put my parts in every time to get me the rough shape I wanted, and then I would do my final deciding on the length at the actual tabletop itself by bringing the piece up and bringing down a first mark for where the end would be inside the breadboard end portion, and then after I cut that, coming back to the tabletop and marking out the final length for the actual spline itself, and making sure to cut this back so I'd have about a 30 second of an inch of gap on the actual length of the spline versus the length of the mortise. Now there's a reason for this and the reason for that is expansion and contraction. Wood moves and the ebony splines are not necessarily going to move much, they'll actually move very little. However, the breadboard ends are going to move a lot. They're going to be moving in this direction as opposed to the tabletop itself moving in this direction. So I need to account for this spline getting shorter. And not spline, but this breadboard end uh, getting a little bit shorter. I don't know shorter is the right term, but um, at least less in width, and I need to have some space for that. Same thing where we add space when I cut the actual mortises here, because the tabletop is going to expand and contract. So it can contract into the actual breadboard ends itself and then expand back out as the seasons progress. Just like before, I sanded up through all the grits and that's 220, 320, 600 and buffed these guys out, chamfered the back of each spline and then knocked them in. And I only put glue on the tabletop section and not the mortar section where the actual breadboard ends are. Again. This piece is going to be moving the breadboard ends, the tabletop not as much, so I only wanted to anchor it in one place. This is only a decorative spine, a spline. It's not a spline that is actually functional, um, like for instance in the Blacker House chairs. So I couldn't be happier at this moment in time because this guy is ready for, almost ready for finish. I've got to come back with that random orbital sander, just like I said in the last update and hit this tabletop one more time just to get rid of um, where the sun did a little bit of aging and didn't because I left the breadboard ends on top of the tabletop while I was gone. And uh, once that's done, I can put finish on it. I'm going to make the buttons first because uh, I want to do all the finishing at the same time, but that's it. This is great. I can't wait to show you guys the finished table. So that's pretty much what's been going on here in the shop. Um, I have a question of the week. So my question of the week for you guys is this, what do you do to celebrate finishing a big project like this? Let me know, you go out, you have a, I don't know, take the family out for pizza and beers, do you see a movie, 
Do you buy something, like a new tool? What is it? Let me know. I'm curious because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do to celebrate finishing this coffee table here. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing something and I want some great ideas from you guys. So that's pretty much it for this week. As always, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. If you're watching us on Facebook, hit the like button, share it in your timeline, and head over to the MM Wood Studio page and like us as well. And as always, have a great week in the shop.